talk about me stinking up the joint. What are you on about now? Cat piss. Little kitty there makes me want to vomit. Don't listen to him, Sir Pouncelot. You smell just fine. I don't suppose you've reconsidered? Coin comes and goes, but dwarven walls never fall. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Ha! Take this pouch of coins in return. But now I'm off to Vigil's keep.
will be done. Very well. Another step, and poor Lady Eileen dies. Where's Lord Bensley? The deal was he'd give us the money himself. That's the one who killed the Archdemon. Andraste, preserve me. Shut your trap! We still have the girl. Orc, show her. Hand over the gold. Now. Orc, send her over. The money. Now. Defend yourselves, men. We will need to fight you. Dirty little dwarf, aren't you? You're quite the dirty little mage. I do my best. Still, I'm no ale-swilling mountain of belches like you. And I'm no winking slack jawed coward like you. True. We should form a club. Commander, just give me a moment. The men are still clearing the rubble in the basement. You don't actually think, think your jokes are funny, do you? Could have sworn that fly was buzzing again. Har! Let me tell you about my life in one word. Uh, oh no, don't take me back to the tower. I'm far, far too delicate. <laughs> I'm not only a dwarf, I'm a moron. Listen to me fast. Oh no, big Templar man. 
What are you going to do with that sword? <laughs> Ew. Don't play with fire unless you want to get burned, son. Do you remember me? The merchant from the road. I've made a deal with your mistress Wolsey to provide some new stock for the other merchants here. Make her bless you, sir. Right you are, Warden. We'll get these walls rebuilt for you. Oh. Wait. I want to talk to you. Don't look now, but I think the birds come flying back. Careful. This one might just go all Severin on you. You set me free. Just let me go. Despite what I said or what I might do, I want to know why. I see. Take me with you. Make me a Grey Warden. I have nowhere to go. I fully expected to die in there. Maybe I even wanted to. But you let me go. Make me a Grey Warden. Let me try, please. Your eyes sense a knife in the back, just saying. So we just let anyone into this outfit, huh? Nothing to fear.
didn't have. Is this what I think it is? It is. That's the Howe Crest burned into the wood right there. This is my grandfather's bow. Or rather, my grandfather was the last to use it. It was originally made for an ancestor during the Exalted Marches. Well, my father hid it away, I guess. I'm surprised he didn't simply have it destroyed. I remember finding it before father sent me to the Free Marches. A shame for it to sit in storage. Thank you. It's good to have a part of my family's legacy again. Something to be proud of. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. It's the Warden Commander. The rumors about you did not overstate it. I have a business proposal. Look for me by the house near the gates. I promise it will be worthwhile. We'll all be dead when the Darkspawn come. shouldn't have. The whole the quiet and was supposed stoic to go away thing when the must get through a lot of action, action huh? it's worse than before. I take it you're an admirer, Ogren. What? No! No, well, not unless... No! Good. Then I needn't worry about getting too drunk at camp. <laughs> okay, I like you, just not in that way. Ah, Warden Commander. I knew you'd come. You know an opportunity when it presents itself, no? I offer a partnership that would benefit us both. The bartender at a local inn has overstepped his bounds. He was hired to watch one of the entrances to our den but now seeks to extort more coin. Terrible, isn't it? A person of your influence would have no trouble convincing him to open the passage. Return to me when this is done. Right, we're in a city. Where's the tavern? Looking for some company, honey pie. I'm always available for riveting conversations with fine women. Oh, here to investigate the chasm, are you? It's about time. I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this darkspawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. That buck was a sly one, he was. He had big feet and a... 
Oh, the chasm, yes. Uh, we saw it coming over our rise. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the Maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... like an egg. I like eggs. It looked like someone had tried to build over it, but it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe, and he was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, the dark spawn appeared. We got lucky. They seemed occupied, like they had someplace really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, thank the Maker. The Darkspawn was so okay. occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, are we getting anything for our trouble? Thanks. This'll get me good and drunk at the inn. Take my mind off the trouble out there. It's going to rain soon. Bring your coat. What if the dark spawn come? My pardon, sir. I was paid a whole sovereign to give this letter to you. I told him I did. There are easier ways of getting a message to the Commander of the Grey. Some visiting knight didn't catch his face. Full helmet, you know. He said he was Sir Wolf of Ravain. No, sir. Again, my pardon. If the smugglers keep driving up the price of supplies. Those smugglers are bastards for taking advantage of we the chaos. We need supplies. My children are hungry. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. But I have to. Constable's orders. We've been having trouble with smugglers and... What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Yes, Warden Commander. The smugglers have a scrambling, to be honest. We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Commander, I take it you've decided to help us. With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. Greetings. Could I interest you in, uh, wait a minute. My lad said they saw you talking to the... You'll learn not to stick your nose where it don't belong. Commander, thank the Maker you're finally here. I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Yes, thank you for coming to the Guild. We need your help. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes, and there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. 
People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant's Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. As you say. Spare anything, sir. The family farm was burned by Darkspawn. They won't let us in the city. I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. In the flesh. The less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. I'd like to help. You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators. But to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. Too rich for you? I will wait.
I can't let Darkspawn just die. It will be done. So, uh, you think there's an apothecary around here somewhere? Well, yeah, uh, I don't want to bother you with this. You being my boss and all. Right. Uh, look, for the past few days, I've had this burning rash. The skin's actually got a sort of greenish look to it. I didn't touch anything. You know, I bet it's that Grey Warden stuff we had to drink. I'm special. Yeah, I'll just see if I can't find some nice minty balm somewhere in this town. It figures, actually. There used to be another statue here. It was a Byron Howe, my great uncle. He died in the rebellion, helping King Merrick reclaim his throne. Yet his statue is gone. All because of what my father did. It truly is. There's a long line of heroes in my family. The Howes have been around since Callanher. Now it's all gone. And for what? For being on the wrong side of the war? For choosing poorly? Maybe you're right. I wish I knew exactly how. I wonder what happened to the old statue. Likely propping up the side of a chantry or something. Poor Al Byron. Yeah, statues of a pigeons. I don't want to look at it. Oh, it is so good to see you, my friend. I contemplated visiting you at Vigil's Keep, but things got busy. I'm afraid so. The circle had to be rebuilt, for one. And I believe you, too, have had your hands full, yes? I'd offer to help, but I'm afraid my presence is required elsewhere. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage. But they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. Well, it could turn out to be nothing, but keep your ear to the ground anyway. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra, but perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Ines, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the college. Then we shall just have to get by without her. It would be a pity, though. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason, something we could use on our side. The hour is late and I must go. It was wonderful to see you again. Take care, my friend. Give shelter to the weary, and lift up the weak. In time, the Maker will see and smile upon your deeds. Very well.
I hear Hubert's gang got their hands on some moonshine. You think they'll sell some to me? Hubert hates you. Something I can do for you, friend. And who are you supposed to be that's asking? An elf? I... Yes, of course. Haven't seen that fellow Christoph for almost a week now. Not sure where he went. His room's paid up to the end of the month. I guess he expected he'd be here a while. Of course. Here you go. It's the last room at the end of the hall. If he comes back and gets upset, however, it's on your head. What can I get for you, friend? What can I get for you, friend? What? Did they put you up to this? Huh. If they can get the Warden Commander to do their dirty work, they can afford to pay me more. You... might have a point there. It'll take me some time to move stuff out of the way. Come back soon and it'll be ready. Is there anything else I can do for you? Come back soon. I got a sore on my foot from working the field. Looking to wet your whistle, stranger? Yes, I remember him. You all want to speak to my boss over at the bar. No! Very well. We should rise up, huh? Rise As up you say. and take back power. It back will be done. All those nosy guards who watch us. Very well. The wardens are nothing but a bunch of criminals. It will be done. My brother used to drink like you do, dwarf. <laughs> fun fellow to have around then, your brother. He could find his fun almost anywhere. And then he would vomit on your shoes. Ah, good times. Oi, about time you showed up. The mayor, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cash is here in Amaranthine. It is? You, you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I, for one, am done dealing with mages. Word of advice. Don't let him sweet-talk you. 
He's very good at that. Uh, I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. It is. It really is. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. What is that smell? Can you smell that? That is the smell of freedom. It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust, but the freedom is in there too. I escaped from the tower seven times. After the last time, they put me in solitary confinement for a year. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Malifica, true or not, and executed me. The problem is that mages are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. Mm -hmm. 
that a Winter Imperium has a better way. But we know how that argument flies around here. Uh, all I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. See? I knew you understood. Never mind me. Now and again I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile, that's all. You could have used your influence to help the people of this city. But you're just a common murderer. I've nothing to say to you. Of course. 